Hi Taurus, this is your November 1st through November 7th weekly tarot reading. I do five separate spreads in my weekly readings. We'll have a spread on new love, a separate spread on love in an existing relationship. I'll do an X spread. We'll talk about work, business, finances, and we'll see what you're not expecting to happen this week. Please like, subscribe, and donate to support this channel. This first spread is a new love this week. We have the King of Pentacles, we have the Chariot, then we have the Queen of Pentacles. We have the Four of Wands and the Three of Pentacles on the bottom of the deck. You could be dealing with an Earth sign, another Taurus, Virgo, or Capricorn. You know, this is a very uh, short and sweet spread. You are either dealing with an Earth sign, Taurus, Virgo, or Capricorn, male or female, absolutely doesn't matter. Uh, especially in this spread, because we got both the King and the Queen of Pentacles right or this person matches you this person is your mirror reflection because uh, like I said we have both the king and the queen of pentacles you, you two are on the same level uh, you vibe at the same frequency like I said you are the mirror reflection of each other right we have the chariot right there in the middle um, it could be a cancer you're dealing with but most likely the chariot is uh, the two of you moving forward together and I think it's kind of symbolic that the chariot came out right there in the middle so both of you are gonna jump on the chariot from each one of your sides <laughs> and you're gonna move forward the chariot is uh, one of the fastest card cards in the deck so um, this uh, relationship is gonna take off like a rocket you know it's gonna move full steam ahead it's like it's almost love at the first sight you know because when you meet somebody you know almost immediately or you know immediately that this person is the one for you this person is your final destination your last stop <laughs> okay so we have the three of ones on the bottom uh, uh three of pentacles on the bottom of the deck this is all about building something from the ground up and making sure that whatever you're building has a very stable solid foundation you are on the same page about where you want this relationship to go and uh, you're building it from the ground up you're building it correctly from the very beginning and we have the 401s this is the outcome card I specifically asked what the outcome is going to be and the 401s came out and uh, most times I pull more than one clarifiers for the outcome but this time it just made total sense and I was like alright I don't need to pull any more cards the 401s is a card of marriage the 401s is a card of a committed relationship some people call the 401s the 1111 card so everything lines up here everything lines up in a very nice stable and loving committed relationship and possibly marriage uh, this person truly is uh, the one for you Taurus I'm really really happy for you Taurus I usually do extensions for new love spreads but I'm not gonna do it this time because it's clear where this relationship is going so congratulations Taurus, if you are already married or if you are in a relationship, this spread is for you. We have the Six of Pentacles, we have the Two of Pentacles, we have the Seven of Swords, clarified by the Knight of Swords and the Two of Swords, and we also have the Ace of Swords on the bottom of the deck. You could be dealing with an Air Sign, Gemini, Libra, or Aquarius. Uh, most likely, you are dealing with an Air Sign, Gemini, Libra, or Aquarius and uh, this person is not your boyfriend your girlfriend or your significant other this is somebody else and that somebody else is gonna offer you to get busy behind closed doors if you know what I mean they will offer you to step out of your marriage or they will uh, offer you to break up with your boyfriend your girlfriend so you could uh, be with them right because the seven of swords right there this is a card of a cheater this is a card of a deception this is a card of somebody who sneaks around and uh, um, they will this is what their intention is they're coming in really fast with the knight of swords the knight of swords is the fastest knight in the deck but it could also be an air sign gemini libra or aquarius so the six of pentacles the first card on the left um, in this spread i think this card is all about giving to more than one person if you know what i mean <laughs> provided what I just told you um, in regards to what this person's intentions are and uh, I think you're gonna tell them no because uh, we've got the two of swords and the ace of swords right there the two of swords is um, you being closed off you're saying no but with the two of pentacles right there you will think about it not necessarily about uh, 
whether you should step out or not. But I'm getting this feeling that you will be kind of confused, you'll be questioning yourself. Why did this person think that um, I'm capable of something like that? What, they, what made them think that? I think that's what you're going to be thinking in your head. <laughs> Alright? So with the Ace of Swords on the bottom of the deck and the Two of Swords, right there clarifying the Seven of Swords with the Knight of Swords, this is you saying no, this is you cutting this person out of your life, but uh, yeah, they'll make you think. <laughs> well, don't think of it too much, because, you know, people, some people are, that's just the way they are, they will try pretty much anybody. <laughs> right? So don't think of it too much, and uh, just continue with your uh, relationship or with your marriage as if nothing ever happened, but if you want to block this person, don't talk to them ever again, yeah, that's totally up to you. Alright? Cool. Let's see if anybody comes back from the past for you, uh, Taurus, this week. Keep in mind it could be somebody from a couple of months ago, a year ago, or a couple of years ago. We have the Four of Cups, we have the Knight of Cups, we have the Ten of Cups, then we have the High Priestess, and we have the Seven of Cups on the bottom of the deck. You could be definitely dealing with a water sign, Cancer, Scorpio, or Pisces. Because uh, we have the Knight of Cups right there, and every single card on the table except for the High Priestess is uh, Cups cards, right? I'm a little concerned about the Four of Cups, uh, right there, the first card on the left. I'm concerned about the fact that it came out first. The Four of Cups is a card of a rejection, but it could also mean a missed opportunity. So, um, if, if somebody comes back around, most likely a Water Sign, Cancer, Scorpio, or Pisces, they will offer you to, obviously, um, reconcile, bury the hatchet, get back together. And uh, the Four of Cups, in this case, could uh, represent the fact that uh, they were rejected by you in the past, but perhaps circumstances have changed and they're going to try again. Or, the Four, it doesn't really matter, the... Um, the sequence of the cards you're going to be rejecting their offer but their intentions are very um, loving because the Knight of Cups usually represents somebody who's got genuine authentic loving emotions and the Ten of Cups right next to it this is a card of uh, very happy and uh, emotionally fulfilling relationships or even marriages right then we also have the Seven of Cups on the bottom of the deck this is a card of a confusion because uh, you're not going to know how to respond to them at first, so you'll need to think about it. And uh, the High Priestess right there is actually the outcome. I specifically asked what the outcome is going to be, and the High Priestess came out. So this is the only major Arcana card in this deck. The High Priestess is... Uh, I can interpret the High Priestess a couple of different ways. The High Priestess could be uh, you consulting a tarot reader, getting a personal reading. The High Priestess is, uh, basically it's up to you, we're not supposed to know. <laughs> the answer is unknown. It's going to be completely up to you what you want to do with it, right? Um, yeah, and um, or perhaps the High Priestess uh, represents something they're hiding. So you'll need to um, dig deeper, ask yourself this question, why are they coming back right now? Is it uh, because they finally uh, realize that they're in love with you, or is it out of necessity? Some kind of a necessity. They need you for something. Not necessarily love, but something happened in their life and they need you for something. So ask yourself this question. And uh, actually ask them this question, and then see what they say. Or ask around. So I think it's going to be up to you. But the uh, Four of Cups, the first card on the left that we discussed about, means um, a rejection or a missed opportunity. So however it fits your situation. Let's talk about your work, your business, and your finances, Taurus, this week. We have the Page of Pentacles, we have the Nine of Cups, we have Death, and we have Ten of Swords on the bottom of the deck. You could be dealing with a Scorpio. Something is coming to an end this week, but... It will bring you more money and it will make you happy. So that's kind of weird. So perhaps you, if you've invested your money at some point in the past, then uh, perhaps you can finally uh, get the dividends and uh, you can withdraw the money, right? Perhaps you invested for a year and you were not supposed to touch the money and now the year is over and uh, you can take the money back with the percentage. It could be a new job. 
right? So your unemployment days are over with the death and the ten of swords, or they could be letting you go, but uh, they will give you a, a really hefty severance package with the Page of Pentacles, which will make you really happy with the Nine of Cups. Perhaps you already have another job lined up anyway. So you're sort of happy to leave this job, get this extra money, and start a new job. So whatever it is, the Nine of Cups right there in the middle, this is a wish come true card. And the Page of Pentacles is uh, finances coming your way. So whatever is coming to an end in your life in terms of work, business, and finances, it will actually bring you more money and, and uh, it will make you happy. So um, you can always... <laughs> Leave me a comment and let me know how this plays out for you. But uh, yeah, it's going to put a smile on your face. Let's see what you're not expecting to happen to us this week. We have the King of Cups, we have the Queen of Cups, then we have the Nine of Cups, and we also have the Ten of Cups clarified by the Two of Cups and the Six of Ones. You could be dealing with a Water sign, Cancer, Scorpio, or Pisces. Almost every single card on this table is the Cups card again. <laughs> so it's all about emotions, it's all about love. So this spread could be uh, indirectly or directly related to you. What you're not expecting, if this is indirectly related to you, that uh, somebody is getting married. It could be uh, your co-worker, your friend, uh, your family member, right? They could be getting married because we've got the Ten of Cups with the Two of Cups and the Six of Wands. Those are all marriage cards right there. Six of Wands is the, used to be called the Proposal card. The Ten of Cups is the Marriage card in this case. And the Two of Cups is one of the best cards when it comes to love. And we also have the Nine of Cups right there, uh, which is a wish come true. And the King of Cups with the Queen of Cups, this is the couple who is getting married. And they're just coming through as the, like, the Cups cards, like the love interest. They're in love with each other, right? If this is uh, directly related to you, then uh, remember how we had uh, the King of Pentacles and the Queen of Pentacles in the first spread, the New Love spread. I think this is um, exactly about the same thing. This is you and your love interest, but in this spread, you two are coming through as uh, love <laughs> in its purest form. The King of Cups and the Queen of Cups, where it used to be uh, all about uh, stability and uh, being grounded, then this is just another side of your relationship. At the same time, you're not just being grounded, you're not just being practical, uh, you're also very loving and you're very, really, really in love with each other and uh, you're heading towards marriage, right? So this spread is just the uh, confirmation <laughs> of uh, the first spread. See, I didn't want to do an extended for you guys, but the extended sort of came out on its own, you know, like <laughs> that's the way uh, the universe works, I guess. So this is an amazing spread, even if it's uh, not for you, then uh, somebody whom you know is getting married, or this is you who is uh, getting married very soon. So Taurus, I think this whole reading has just been amazing for you. Um, congratulations, and have a great week. And there you have it. This was your tarot reading for this time period. I hope it resonated with you and helps you live a better life one way or the other. Thank you for watching, sharing and subscribing.